chairman, the one and only Shah Rukh Khan. I have to say thank you so much for being present with us. It's indeed a pleasure to have you here. I was told that you had a prior engagement meeting our prime minister earlier in the day, and you've still managed to take time out and be. Without any further ado, let me take the honor in welcoming on stage His Excellency and Shah Rukh Khan to kindly join me here. Your Excellency, at this very, very momentous occasion, can I request you to please say a few words? Please. Ladies and gentlemen, dear Shah Rukh Khan, I hope you will forgive my pidgin English, <laughs> but it's very difficult for a French foreign minister to speak a foreign language. <laughs> we are here tonight in Mumbai, in this city which more than any other city embodies the spirits of cinema to celebrate a man who everywhere represents India and particularly modern India. Dear Mr. Shah Rukh Khan, and now I will pronounce the conferring of the insignia of Chevalier dans l'ordre de la Légion d'honneur to Mr. Shah Rukh Khan, but I have to say it in French. <laughs> Student, headed for a very different career, in the field of communication, but then for which you won the best male debut award in 1992. Very quickly, you changed the rules of the game and played less typical role, such as in 1989. 60 films later, you became what? all of you, named King Khan, a living legend. And it is true, is, I think, because you have created a style of your own. You have often broken into new areas of play, and so new roles, and this is your flight. In our breathtaking Alps and Pyrenees Mountains, or in the charming countryside of my own home region, Normandy. Even, why not, in the build between our two great countries of cinema. And I know that in Indian movies, wishes always come true. <laughs> so, welcome to France, dear